Assalamu alaikum. I am Samina Shah from Center for Global and Strategic Studies, Islamabad, and you are watching CGSS Bulletin. Dear viewers, Kyrgyz Republic is a landlocked country with mountainous terrain, and it also shares border with other Central Asian states with Uzbekistan, Tajikistan, and Kazakhstan. It also shares its border, eastern border, with China, and it got independence from Soviet Union in 1991. And today, I have immense pleasure to introduce you to the Ambassador of Kyrgyz Republic, the Islamic Republic of Pakistan, His Excellency Eric Bishambiyev. Thank you, Excellency, for giving us your precious time, and I welcome you. As we know that um, the geographic location of Kyrgyzstan is notable. So how how uh, this strategic uh, location, uh, uh, how this strategic location can impact Kyrgyz Kyrgyzstan's diplomacy? Kyrgyzstan conduct multi-vector foreign policy based on the principles of balance, pragmatic approach, equality, and mutual uh, benefit. The main guidelines are the following, protecting the uh, sovereignty and territorial integrity of the country, promoting national and uh, regional security, creating favorable external condition for the socio-economic uh, development of the Kyrgyz Republic, and further strengthening the country's international position as well as the uh, uh, protection, the rights and uh, the legitimate interest of Kyrgyz citizens abroad. The countries of Central Asia Asian are the main partners of Kyrgyzstan. During recent year, our uh, cooperation has gained a positive momentum and reached a new higher level. Meeting uh, of heads uh, of state and heads of foreign uh, ministries of the countries of Central Asia have become traditional. The strengthening of the friendly uh, and brotherly relation with the neighboring countries, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan and Tajikistan are positively reflected on the lives uh, of the, our people. Russia is our only and strategic partner with whom we are uh, connected uh, uh, through centuries old friendship and common historical uh, faith which passed the test of time. Kyrgyzstan is the only country in Central Asia where uh, Russian language uh, has an official st status along with the native Kyrgyz. Uh, about uh, uh, one million Kyrgyz migrants are working in uh, Russia and transferring uh, more than two billion US uh, dollars uh, back uh, home every year. The cooperation with the China has uh, uh, risen to the strategic level and uh, through, his, uh, through this uh, cooperation uh, we strive to achieve economic development and technological uh, upgrade. Kyrgyzstan intends to deepen economic cooperation uh, with China to promote China, uh, Chinese investment in Kyrgyzstan both on a bilateral basis and uh, in the framework of the project One Belt, uh, One Road. We develop a good relation with uh, Turkey, Japan, Korea, USA, European Union countries, as well as the countries of the Arab uh, Gulf. Uh, Kyrgyzstan is a member of a major international organization uh, such as uh, UN, uh, SCO, uh, CIS, uh, uh, CSTO, uh, OIC, uh, ECO, uh, WTO, and the Euro-Asian Economic Union. As a country member of the Euro-Asian Economic Union, uh, we are uh, working to uh, increase our export to uh, this large market of uh, 183 million people, to develop transit and industrial potential of the country, and establish a uh, uh, condition for legal, uh, to, uh, for the legal protection uh, of our labor migrants. Uh, uh, further integration uh, to this economic uh, union uh, um, remain priority of our foreign policy. Our membership in the uh, Shanghai uh, Cooperation Organization and uh, CSTO aims to ensure the national uh, security of Kyrgyzstan, 
the uh, uh, in a viability of our state borders and the elimination of streets of the terrorism. Okay, so uh, now coming towards um, the bilateral relationship between the Kyrgyz Republic and Pakistan. Since the birth of uh, the diplomatic relationship uh, between both of the countries, so how do you see the relationship between both of the countries and how many agreements have you been signed? Kyrgyzstan and Pakistan enjoy countries old close in historical and cultural relations. As you know, the founder of the Mughal Empire, Babur, was born in Fergana Valley, nowadays share in Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan and Tajikistan. His small prayer mosque uh, on the Kyrgyz mountain Suleiman in Osh city is still preserved and became popular place for local people and tourists. Today our countries enjoy excellent political relations and a great potential for increasing our trade and economic culture and educational cooperation for this benefit of our people. I am glad to note that uh, since the establishment of our diplomatic relations in 1992, our countries enjoy excellent political relations and uh, exchange presid presidential visits twice, Kyrgyz Prime Minister visit Pakistan twice, Pakistani Prime Minister came to Kyrgyzstan three times, speakers of the Kyrgyzstan's parliament visit Pakistan twice, and Minister of Foreign Affairs of Kyrgyzstan paid an official visit uh, to Pakistan. With the aim of discussing the current status of the bilateral relation and perspective for ch of future cooperation, first interministerial political consultation on the level of the MOFA deputy ministers was held in Bishkek on 23rd and 24th January uh, last year. Uh, the uh, Gendao of, of meeting, including the uh, uh, ASO of political, parliamentary, trade, economical uh, and culture, uh, human uh, cooperation, regional uh, security interaction in the uh, framework of uh, regional and uh, international uh, organization consular issues. On 28th March uh, last year in Tashkent, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Kyrgyzstan, Erlan Abdullayev of Pakistan, Hawaja Asif, met the sidelines on the International Conference on Afghanistan, peaceful process, security and regional interaction. During meeting, the sides discussed the issues of the further uh, intensification of the bilateral cooperation, exchange views on the current international issues. The legal basis of Kyrgyz-Pakistani bilateral relation consists of more than 30 agreements in the field of uh, uh, political, uh, parliamentary, trade economic, educational, scientific, uh, anti-narcotic, uh, electrical energy, automobile transport, aviation, military education, tourism, energy situation, cooperation. Both countries also cooperated on the bilateral level in the uh, framework of uh, UN, OIC, ECO and uh, Shanghai Cooperation Organization. Kyrgyzstan being one of the founding members of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization and good friend and partner of Pakistan. Welcome and supported your country's uh, bid for member in the organization. After SEO summit in uh, Tsindao, China, in June uh, last year, Kyrgyzstan had assumed chairmanship in this organization. With join of uh, Pakistan to Shanghai Cooperation Organization last year, I expect that our bilateral relation uh, will be further strengthened and cooperation expanded and enhanced as a new prospect are opening for close reg regional cooperation with Pakistan in the framework of uh, SCO in the field of security, trade and economy, business, energy, technology, environment protection, culture, educational, tourism and people-to-people -people contacts. Uh, that's uh, really nice. Um, indeed, we share a very good uh, relationship, bilateral relationship. So, Dear Excellency, uh, there are a number of, uh, mm, number of priority areas uh, which need to be focused uh, for the enhancement of uh, m better relations. 
uh, as we already, uh, as we always discuss um, about the economy, about the trade, but there is um, another very important part, which is energy. And as we know that Pakistan has a very uh, high demand of power energy, uh, for which uh, there's a project named as a Casa 1000 project. Uh, which is going through Kyrg uh, Kyrgyzstan and Tajikistan. So um, what do you think that how it would uh, going to affect Pakistan and Kyrgyzstan as well? Yes, you are right. Uh, Kyrgyzstan is rich in uh, water resources which are used for electricity production by a number of uh, hydropower stations. My country is a member of the project CASA 1000, which is aimed to bring supplies electricity from Kyrgyzstan and Tajikistan hydropower station in summer times to Pakistan through the territory of Afghanistan. This project demonstrates landmark cooperation among the Kyrgyz Republic, Tajikistan, Afghanistan and Pakistan. Uh, modern and uh, efficient uh, CASA 1000 electricity transmission system will help transform the region and uh, signify an important step towards realizing the planned Central Asia South Asia regional e electricity market, Kasarem. The Kasarem initiative will help not only these four countries, but also improve the electrical uh, system and develop interregional cooperation between Central Asia and uh, South Asia. According to the schedule, the Kasa 1000 power project will start operation by 2020. All right. Yeah. So um, coming towards uh, the agriculture and um, livestock, of course, we know that agriculture and livestock is, uh, uh, has a very dynamic sectors. Uh, but between the uh, common uh, between uh, both of the countries, uh, with your expertise, Excellency, would you like to suggest uh, to open some joint ventures in your country? Uh, there are several priority areas for trade cooperation between our countries, which may include energy, IT technologies, mining industry, light and food industries, medicine and uh, pharmaceuticals. For example, Pakistani and Kyrgyz businessmen may open joint venture on textile production in Kyrgyzstan, as my country is already a major supplier of textile goods to Russia and Kazakhstan, and Pakistan is one of the world's top textile producers. And of course, as you mentioned, agriculture and uh, livestock are one of priority sectors where we can pull our resources and efforts to yield maximum results. I am always suggested Pakistani businessmen to open in Kyrgyzstan joint venture on agriculture products, processing in order uh, to increase its export to Euro-Asian Economic Union and European Union. As you know, Kyrgyzstan is one of uh, member of the Euro-Asian Economic Union with a market of uh, 180 million uh, people and the World Trade Organization, which brought Kyrgyzstan to a new level of trade and economic development. Both of our countries are participating in European Union GSP Plus system of preferential trade, which allow export of uh, 6,000 items, including agriculture and textile products to uh, Euro uh, Union without tariffs. All right, Your Excellency. So uh, now coming towards uh, trade and economy, uh, I would like to ask that, uh, how do you think that, uh, what is the business climate for Pakistan? I think the new government of Pakistani is making a very important progress towards the improvement of the business climate. Now you have uh, all economic sectors open to foreign direct investment, available tax and tariff incentives packages, allowed remittance of royalty, technical and uh, franchise fee, capita, profits and dividends. Moreover, you have a robust stock market, a number of special economic zones, a large pool of scientists, engineers, bankers, lawyers and other professionals that are some of the reasons attracting foreign investment in Pakistan. All right. So um, as we know that every year um, many Pakistani people visit uh, visits uh, Kyrgyzstan uh, for different purposes, for tourism and for business. So, um, Dear Excellency, would like to shed some light upon the visa regime of your country and as well as um, you can uh, suggest uh, our Pakistani investors who want to invest in your country. Annually, the Embassy of Kyrgyz Republic issued about uh, 700 entry visa to Kyrgyz Republic, of which about 60% students, 25% business and the rest are other categories of visa. 
About 2,000 Pakistani students are studying in Kyrgyzstan, mostly in medical universities. However, these data do not include citizens of Islamic Republic of Pakistan who have been issued visa through the electronic visa system. With the introduction of the e-visa system, many citizens of Pakistan are actively using this opportunity. Travelers have possibility to obtain a short-term visa without visiting the embassy of the Kyrgyz Republic, following two simple steps, applying and making online payment. Electronic visa application does not require more information than the paper application, and it grants the same right to enter Kyrgyzstan territory as ordinary uh, sticker visa in uh, the passport. Applying for a visa through the portal has a lot of advantages. No need to make an appointment of present uh, original document to the embassy of the Kyrgyz Republic. All you need is internet connection, credit or debit card for making payment and uh, scanned capital, co uh, scanned uh, copies of your documents. We can increase the flow of the citizens of Pakistan by promotion the tourists trade and economic potential of Kyrgyzstan in Pakistan, including through the media and through the popularization of electronic uh, visa system. Indeed, uh, it's a very uh, good information that we, um, uh, we would be taking it in, into, our, um, into our note that about the visa regime. So now coming towards the uh, peace and stability, uh, with the best of our information is that uh, in, uh, back in 2018, March, um, the head of journal staff of uh, Kyrgyzstan's armed forces, um, Major General uh, Retired Dashambiyev, visited Pakistan and discussed uh, the ways of cooperation uh, to strengthen the ways of cooperation between two of the, uh, two of the countries. So wh which type of cooperation has been uh, uh, there between both of the countries on security and military issues? As, a, as well as connecting to this question, uh, what is your opinion, Your Excellency, uh, that uh, the role of Pakistan being playing into uh, to fighting with terrorism and making efforts uh, to preserve peace and stability? Yes, it is a very uh, good uh, question. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Pakistan is playing a, a vital role in uh, fighting terrorists. Uh, lost thousands of uh, lives, uh, including uh, 70,000 military and law enforcement personnel and uh, damage uh, to its economy reached uh, once uh, 120 uh, billion uh, dollars. Only joining uh, our hands together with the international community, we can successfully counter terrorism. And regards Pakistani participation in the Shanghai Cooperation Organization, regional anti-terrorist structure, RATS, as a key asset, Pakistan can contribute a lot to Shanghai Cooperation Organization on the security issues as it uh, gained a valuable positive experience in uh, fighting terrorism. Kyrgyzstan is uh, currently uh, having the Shanghai Cooperation Organization chairmanship and we are glad that Pakistani armed forces first time participated in the counter-terrorism ex uh, exercises in the framework of the uh, organization in August uh, last year in uh, Russia. In March uh, last year also the head of the general staff to Kyrgyzstan Armed Forces Major General Dushanbiv, as you mentioned, visit uh, Pakistan and discuss the ways of the strengthening defense and security cooperation between our countries. Kyrgyzstan is interested in developing cooperation with uh, Pakistan is in training to Kyrgyz officers by Pakistani institutions in the field of the countering terrorism, peacekeeping uh, operation, English uh, courses, as well as uh, between uh, defense production enterprises of the two countries. The visit of the Kyrgyz general staff delegation in a national defense university uh, depot POF and uh, HIT presented a good opportunity for us to learn more about Pakistan's potential in defense and uh, counter-terrorism training and uh, production. Now I pay my deepest gratitude uh, to His Excellency for your presence. Thank you, Allah Hafiz.